Up next on Lion TV, we have Bethany with your weather, a package over volleyball with Lexi. And I'm Jordan Benai here to update you on all your sports news. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. What's up, Cersei? I'm Ashley Coker. And I'm Drew Thurman. The oven is hot. It sure is, but I'm already ready for the weekend. Me too. Let's take a look at those announcements. The year of the Arkansas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers will host a virtual college fair. This fair will include most, if not all, of Arkansas colleges. This is a great opportunity for students and their parents to access information from our state's post-secondary institutions. The fair will run through most of the month of October. Students need to go to the Guidance Center's Google Classrooms to access the instructional video to learn how to sign up and to attend. English teachers have the Guidance Center access codes. Makeup and retake pictures are scheduled for October 27th. Please email Ms. Shannon Hollyfield at shollyfield at org if you need a retake. Retakes may be only taken if there is an obvious defect in the original photo, such as eyes being shut. If you bought a package and you need a retake, please bring the package with you on the scheduled date for pictures. One of our own, Lexi Farron, interviewed some athletes on campus about COVID affecting the Lady Lions volleyball team. Take it away, shoddy. With the global pandemic continuing to linger across the world, changes have arisen everywhere. The Lady Lions volleyball team has experienced a plethora of changes this season, including a new coach and COVID-19 still loitering on school grounds. Everyone's just coming to play volleyball and that's the main thing. So everyone's just coming with the attitude that, oh, if we can't play volleyball, we're going to play as best we can. COVID has been the cause of changes everywhere, including sports like volleyball. Masks were required as soon as we walk into the gym and when we're setting up. But as soon as we go to warm up or practice, start practice, that's when we can take them off. It's been very different because of, you know, COVID restrictions. So it's harder to interact with the team especially from like the bench because you have a mask on so people can't hear you and then there's no captain's meetings before a game and you have to make sure everyone has their mask on. The atmosphere has definitely changed. We don't have a student section or not as many people can come and cheer us on so we don't really get the hype from the crowd that we used to get. But the coronavirus isn't the only change the girls have experienced so far this year. We got a new coach and our whole lineup and our whole how we play has changed and just how the refs and everything are, and like a lot has changed. With the new coaching, it's always different because you have to get used to the new coaching while you're getting used to new players. I got an email that the volleyball coaching position was um, uh, open and I just couldn't pass it. So I applied for it and uh, I interviewed. And it's just a great opportunity, so I'm glad that I did that. But despite all the changes, the girls are optimistic for this season. I think this year we have a really good crop of girls that likes to keep their energy up and stay high, so that's really good to see when you're playing volleyball. I've already seen like huge improvement just from the over two months that we, uh, we practice. Um, it's just I know that they can improve even more and um, just be a little more consistent. Um, I see great things and um, there's great potential and I know that they can do a lot more. Well, there definitely seems to be some things this year that have definitely changed from last year, but our Lady Lions volleyball team will not let that diminish their spirit. We can't wait to see their achievements this year. Back to the news desk. Authorities in Belarus have detained about 500 people during the weekend protest against the country's authority and president who has claimed a sixth term in office in an election that is widely seen as rigged. Belarus Interior Ministry said Monday that 150 protesters were detained on Saturday over, and over 350 more on Sunday when the anti-government protests spanned in 22 cities. Daily rallies have rocked Belarus for over seven weeks now with the largest ones drawing up to 200,000 people. It's the biggest challenge yet to President Alexander's long hardline reign. Authorities are searching for two inmates who escaped from a jail in Little Rock by apparently crawling through a bathroom ceiling and onto the roof. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Office says the two inmates were discovered missing shortly after 2 a.m. Thursday from the county jail in Little Rock. 
The sheriff's office is searching for 31-year-old Jason Michael Brown of Little Rock and 47-year-old Geronimo Esperacuta of Searcy. Authorities say Brown was being held on robbery, burglary, and theft charges, while Esperacuta was held on drug charges. Arkansas State Police mm -hmm. says it's investigating the death of a man who became unresponsive after police in Augusta pepper sprayed him. Local authorities requested the state investigation after 38-year-old Quentin Layard died earlier Thursday. Authorities say local police were called to an Augusta home around 3 a.m. when a resident reported a prowler and said Laird had later kicked down a door open and went to bed. Authorities say Laird was removed from the house, but officers used pepper spray when he began to resist the handcuffs. Police say Laird became unresponsive and offers officers attempt life-saving measures. He was pronounced deceased at Searcy Hospital. Let's send things over to Bethany Ellis to see what the weather's looking like. Yeah, I'm supposed to go hammocking tonight, and I want to know if it's going to be frozen. Take it away. Today is September 30th, 2020. I'm Bethany Ellis. Let's take a look at your weather. Today, you will have sunny skies with a high of 81 degrees, a 10% chance of rain, winds going west-southwest at 10 miles per hour, 55% humidity, and your sun rose at 7.04 a.m. on to tonight. Tonight, you will have clear skies with a low of 56 0% chance of rain, winds going west-northwest at 4 miles per hour, 76% humidity, and your sunset will set at 6.54 p.m. On to the almanac. The last seven days temperatures are a high of 84, a low of 57, your monthly average of precipitation is 3.35 inches, and your month to date is 4.06 inches. Now on to the five cast. On Thursday, there will be sunny skies with a high of 74, a low of 46, and a 0% chance of rain. Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 67, a low of 45, and a 0% chance of rain. Saturday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 68, a low of 52, and a 20% chance of rain. Sunday, there will be AM showers with a high of 69, a low of 50, and a 40% chance of rain. And on Monday, it will be sunny with a high of 68, a low of 48, and a 0% chance of rain. So it looks like it's going to get a little colder this week, but you should have quite a bit of sun, so it should feel really nice. Back to the news desk. Now, let's see what we're going to have for lunch. Today's lunch is a breaded chicken sandwich, chicken spaghetti, whole grain breadstick, tater tots, ketchup, lettuce, tomato, and pickles, seasoned green beans, peaches, Miracle Whip, salad dressing, a cupcake, chocolate, and a red delicious apple and milk. Hey Drew, do you know who the Lady Lions played on Thursday? Nope, but Jordy does. Take it away, shoddy. Hey Cersei, how's it hanging? I'm Jordan Bernight here to update you on all the news in the world of sports. Let's start off with some local sports. Your Lady Lions volleyball team has won three games in a row. Their next being played tonight against Jonesboro. So come out and support your Lady Lions at five o'clock. Your Cersei Lions football team won big against Sheridan. The first touchdown scored on a trick play where running back Daniel Perry passed to the quarterback, Tyler Tingler. There were multiple long runs made by Perry and a fumble returned by Grant Lawson. In national sports, the Cleveland Browns are having their first win streak in six years with quarterback Baker Mayfield. Keenan Allen caught Justin Herbert's pass over the middle about 15 yards from Panthers' end zone. He lateraled the ball to Austin Eckler, who was running the opposite way and almost certainly would have been a game-ending touchdown. Only Eckler missed the ball, costing the Chargers the game. That's all we have for you this week, Cersei. Thanks for tuning in. Let's send it back to the anchors. That was fantabulous. Well, that wraps up today's episode of Lion TV. If you missed any episodes, be sure to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Cersei High Lion TV. And remember to follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Ashley Coker. And I'm Drew Thurman. See you all on Friday.